what's up guys welcome back to COVID Clinton so in this video I'm gonna do a simple introductory video to my forthcoming Django crash course here on YouTube so I'm gonna explain how this course is gonna be broken down you understand so right now this course is gonna be in four different stages you understand so the first two stages will be for beginners the third stage for intermediate developers and the first stage will be for the advanced developers so this is going to be so currently this course is still in its first stage and this first stage is majorly focused on beginners that wants to learn how to use Django to build web applications instead so on the, on the first stage we are going to be building a blog application like this so you can see we have this blog application on the screen instead so on this blog app we have the search bar we also saw the pagination so we're going to try these features right now so i can search for blog articles major that are, that are majorly based on react let's search for react blog articles click on react there and click on go so you can see we only have blog articles focused on react js right so now if i click on django if i search for django now let's try django so let's see so i click on go you can see right now we only have blog articles focused on django in the stand so that was that for so that so let's move this on the screen so we also saw the pagination we also have the pagination feature here in the stand so currently on page one we have four blog articles on page two let's see we also have four blog content on page three let's see we have just two blog articles so i can decide to go down to a blog post and read more about this blog in the stand so let's go down to this blog let's see how it looks like or come down here so let's read let's check out this blog so you can see on this blog post now you can decide to like you can we have this blog post this detailed page now you can you can decide to like a blog article or not so currently the user that is signed in already likes this blog post so i click on this it reduces down to 12 you can see if i click on if i click back it likes the it likes the blog post if i click again it is likes this blog post you understand so this we have the like button on this blog post we also you can also drop a comment you can drop a comment instead I, I can just i can say wow i found this i found this article helpful i found this article helpful i click on submit so now you can see now we have this comments already submitted without the page reloading in his stand so if you, if you just watch now oh i'm gonna remove so right now you can see there is if i need to add a fix to this blog site so whenever you drop a comment the comment box should be empty but right now the comment box is still having your comment there so i'm gonna speak, just say let me drop another comment say thanks for sharing thanks for sharing so you click on this now submit you can see now we have to block comments from the same user clint because this is this because currently this is the signed in user this, this currently clint is the current logged in user then i can see the name over there you understand so as i say you can like a blog post you can dislike a blog post let's try for some other articles i click on this the same thing here you can like this like currently i just dislike this post i can click back here and like a given post so this is the first stage of the django crash course and it is majorly focused on beginners that wants to learn django in a stand so on the second stage we are going to add the authentication we are going to add an admin feature for this blog application something like medium.com in a stand so users can come in they can create account they can log in they can create their own blog content and manage this content by themselves if, you, if you've been to medium that's how it is on medium.com you can create your own content and manage your own blog articles by yourself that's going to be the second stage of this django crash course instead i said before the first and second stage are majorly for beginners instead and on the, and the third stage is going to be focused on building a restful api for our blog that's going to be the third stage and that's going to be for the intermediate developers instead so i'm going to show you how to build a restful api for this blog you see, remember by then the blog is the blog is already big you already have this feature and also the admin feature whereby you can come in create your own create your own articles manage them yourself and we're going to write a full restful api 
for this blog application and the fourth and the final stage i'm going to show you how to use react.js to consume this api the first stage of, in, in the first stage you i will show you we are going to be building this blog application with the admin feature using django on the back end and react on the front end in this time so that's going to be the fourth and the final stage for this Django crash course, OP understood. So right now, what, what I want to so right now, what, what I wanted to do now is this: if you've already subscribed to my channel, please stay subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed to COVID Clinton, do well to subscribe to my channel because in the coming weeks I will start dropping the I will start dropping episodes for this crash course here on YouTube. So if you don't want to miss out, subscribe now to this channel. So let's take a look so right now let's browse this, let's browse through this blog as i said before it's still in its first stage let's say you can search for an article i can just simply search for web let's say web, web development let's see if it's gonna give me some content web development it should give me some content let's see oh nothing oh that's nice let's see okay okay it's it immediately picks keywords. Let's search for Python. Python Go. Oh, we have Django tutorial there. You can see we have Python here. That's why it pulled this out. We also have this Python in this content instead. So we have Python here also. And we also have Python here instead. Once I click on this, once I let's read more. You see, we have Python in the body. We should can see we have Python. That's why it's, that's why it suggested this blog article. Instead, so you can also drop a comment. You can also like a blog post. You can click on the like button, like and dislike. So, literally, this is for beginners, and this, and this is the first stage of the crash call. And the second stage, I'm gonna give our blog an admin feature. And the third stage. We are going to give we are going to simply build a restful api for our blog and the final stage we are going to build our blog with react and django so that's how it's going to be so if you enjoyed this video please do it to subscribe and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't have to miss out on the content i'll be uploading in the coming weeks so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video so stay blessed and bye bye